Hello and welcome Forex fans, it's Rob here from Exploring it here with the Pegasus Expedition, which is a game I've played here before in the demo form. And it's a narrative Forex game where you are basically trying to run from these, like this galactic threat. And you jump into the Pegasus galaxy to like establish a foothold for humanity. And it has a very narrative focus. It's like basically a story that's going to be playing out. And it's entering its early access phase tomorrow by the time you see this and when it does the idea is going to be to add new scenarios and also add like a true 4x like i guess like a a real 4x start where everyone starts on the same ground and you know maybe even random galaxies i hope that would be great so the, you know, the, the thing is i've been playing this for a little bit and i've realized that you know the, the story itself is pretty great right I've noticed that my my choices in the dialogue don't really matter much and that really is kind of upsetting but beyond that the gameplay itself and the story itself has been really fantastic and I've been really enjoying it so I'm eager to show this to you let's go ahead and get started with a new game and we'll start. In 2262, humanity was at war. A huge sentient and hostile life form known as the Colossals was threatening the Earth, leaving humanity little choice but to start seeking refuge elsewhere. There is something wrong with that English there, by the way. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to get nitpicky. The Pegasus Expedition was the attempt to achieve that. Three powers from Earth sent their best fleets on the expedition, the rest focusing on Earth, fending until the expedition would return. On defending Earth, that's what I meant to say. The Zeus Link fleet sent by the European Union has been under put under your command director. It is now up to you to make a difference. Officers, soldiers, colleagues. I know no one actually wants to see this, so I'm gonna go ahead and skip through it. Nice little cutscene, but if you're going to play it, go watch it. All right, so we're going to go ahead and bring our first fleet into this area, and the narrative begins, right? So welcome to the, pa the Pegasus Galaxy, Director. The Pegasus Expedition has now officially begun. A perimeter around the portal has been formed, and the main force is being moved through. All right, so, so far it is all according to plan, you could say. Very well, what now? Right now, we can't stay around for the, por the portal for too long, so we need to move into the closest star system to form up. Yes, our recon units are already approaching the Zoka system. In there, we got to set up some infrastructure, assess the surroundings, and start making ourselves permanent. My teams are still on the other side. Once they've come through and set themselves up, we'll start making sense of all the information we should already be collecting. Oh, we are. Don't you worry, Dr. Renz. That does leave the question of dividing the initial systems between us and our allies. I presume the logistics would demand that. Grand Admiral Perrone, Perrin, Director, sorry to interrupt, but we've got an urgent met transmission from the recon units in the Zoka system. Well, what is it? This is a rather important meeting we're having. I know, ma'am, but it's that th they've made contact. It took nine hours. Nine hours in the Pegasus galaxy, and we were at war. They didn't fire warning shots. And we... We weren't going to take it lying down. So it begins, right? All right, so there's a few different that and if you haven't seen my demo video, there's basically like choices here that determine, I mean, for the most part, how you're going to set up your defenses or in this case, I think, yeah, this is our defenses, but oh no, this isn't our defenses. This is our offense. So with that it comes with certain modifiers depending on what you do and also you want to take in consideration how big your fleets are how big your attack groups are and the re retreat threshold so if you so the 50 retreat threshold is that once we've hit 50 percent of losses we lose we leave right we, we lose we lose the battle because we leave but the retreat threshold is different for each of these cards that you can play and it really kind of depends on your tactics and how strong your groups are and how strong your fleets are. But right now we're going to go ahead and just use cautious advance because it's going to, it's going to break our 
fleets here into two pretty large groups and they're pretty powerful right now too so we're going to go ahead and do that start combat we're going to go ahead and speed it up too so along the way you can start to let your flagships fire missiles and stuff like that and even nuclear weapons all right so they've hit their 50 percent threshold and they're now leaving so that's a, a victory for us so what the hell's going on there We've made contact with something. It appears sentient, perhaps somewhat humanoid, and operates heavily armed space vessels. That's actually, it appears sapient. They fired on sight and we retired fire. We returned fire. Sorry. We destroyed a small unit in the Zoka system, probably a garrison. So whatever they are, we are now at war with them? What would you do if an unidentified fleet appeared out of nowhere in your star system? They must be terrified right now. I just hope we didn't start something irreversible. It is unfortunate, but I do not see how we could have done anything differently. First contacts like this are always a little tense. Well, our only experience is from the Colossals, and they never negotiated at all. So far, there's only been these kind of contacts. It's true. So what now? I still don't have my people here, but I would like to send a team to investigate remains in the Zoka system. You do what you can. In any case, the Zoka system is now secure, and we need to move in and start setting ourselves up as soon as possible. That hasn't changed. All right. So we'll go ahead and turn. And our buddies are warping in, too. And the first chapter, The Shiny New Horizon. That's what we're going to do. This was it. We were here with very limited time and nearly endless pressure from home. For better or worse, this was our final plan. We would soon get to see how it would play out. I like the art style. It's unique. So I'll dig. And it's... It's, yeah, it's unique and it's good. So those are both good things working out for it. <laughs> All right, so we continue our story here. So, sir, our allies have now started moving through the portal and occupying the nearby star systems. Very good. So, well, we've now surveyed the Zoka system and it's not exactly a paradise. Unfortunately not. The planets we have are either toxic, unstable, overly hot, or radioactive. I think we get the picture. We do need a foothold, pleasant or not. The second wave is almost ready to move, and we should immediately send them to occupy for their systems. That means actively causing more conflict with the new civilizations we've met? It does. We need more territory, and they haven't even mounted a retaliatory attack. One could say they appear kind of weak, a state we should perhaps take advantage of. And having some good depth in our defenses wouldn't hurt either. It certainly wouldn't. So, Director, the second wave is ready, and waiting for the order. Very well, give them the go-ahead. All right, so we're warping in here. And we're 85 to 57. So we're going to go ahead and auto this because it's a pretty, it's almost double. All right, so it looks like we're going to get defeated there. Actually, we're going to lose this whole thing. I'm actually kind of surprised by that. Or right, we're going to, oh yeah, we barely lost this one. Wow, okay. Was not expecting that. But it looks like there was, a, there was a second fleet that came through and is now going to just destroy them. Alright, good to go. So, how badly did we lose there? We lost quite a bit. Let's go ahead and repair that fleet immediately so that we can start moving forward after this. But we have now these guys here and... We're going to be a little bit more smart about it. Because I thought the the auto would work better on that last one, but it did not. So it looks like we're all going to meet here, and we're going to just crush them hard, which is great. And then we'll come into Babib. We're actually not going to win that, are we? We could. Depends on how they're separated. They're separated into two groups. So instead, we'll go with one frontal assault and take them out one by one. All right, we're going to go ahead and try to bomb them hard while we take out this group here.
good. So they're retreating because we basically consolidated our forces there and started using nukes and missiles to take out the other group while we were taking in the taking on the one other group. So now that we have a bit more than the Zoka system, Dr. Loren so passionately dislikes, we should do something useful with them. I just dislike the inhospitable planetary features, Miss Yurik. Yep, so if you don't mind, Director, I'd like to show you the plan we've made to make best use of these few star systems. And since there won't be a second chance, it's important that we get this right the first time. So please see to it, sir. Very well. All right, so with that, we need to make one industrial, one military, and one research outpost. So we're going to do that based on what the like the characteristics of each planet are. This one's going to give us an increase of rare earth extraction by 100%. So we're going to make this an industrial output outpost. This one is going to give us some science production outpost bonus. So we're going to go make that a research outpost. And here doesn't really give us anything. So we're going to make that the shipyard outpost. And we'll come back out and let those build. And our fleets were victorious. And we've made some good space or good headway, right? Unfortunately, though, this one's already in bad shape. And this one's being repaired so the garrison fleets this one definitely needs a bigger garrison fleet so we're going to go ahead and upgrade to command station which is going to give us a another uh, another garrison fleet and we'll do the same thing here so it says right here upgrade upgrade takes three turns it's going to provide five defense stations capable of launching inter interplanetary missiles and upkeeps a level two garrison fleet. So we're going to do that in both these places that have somewhat of an issue possibly with defending themselves. Hopefully we won't run into any issues just yet. Because if they counterattack, we're going to have some problems. Our fleets are a little bit... A little bit worn out. Sir, the leaderships of the first expeditionary fleet in all Mustar Al Mustar Mara have established themselves here in the Vika and Shioko systems, respectively. And they would like to discuss the situation. They've called the first meeting of the Earth War Council, or the EWC for short. It's an assembly of the military leaders of the fleet. Uh, can I participate in myself? Technically speaking, you're not military, sir. The EWC does not represent our command structure perfectly, but it, its, its structure is essentially precisely what the whole body is for. They compromise. I'll maintain a connection with you throughout the meeting, so we are not making any decisions without your approval, so you don't need to worry about that. Okay, so yes, I hope this will be a useful meeting. I really do too. Go do it. Well, colleagues. Sorry, well, welcome, colleagues. The first meeting of the Earth World Council representing Al Mustar Mara of the Daris Combine, Admiral Gretel Mandan, at your service. Al Mustamara. Amustamara. There we go. Amustamara of the Darius Combine. Darius Combine? <laughs> I'm trying. Admiral Samuel Reed of the 1st Expeditionary Unit Fleet. Good to meet you. I am Grad Grand Admiral... Good lord, I cannot speak. I am Grand Admiral Elodie Paron of the Zeus Link Fleet. I am the ranking military officer, but not the highest authority in the fleet. Yes, I've heard of your interesting command structure. The military part isn't the whole truth, Admiral Reed. Perhaps not, but we've certainly found ourselves fighting for every planet and star. We've read the reports of your first contact, Perun. Not ideal, but hard to avoid. Whatever they are, we've hit a soft spot. I would even call it ideal. Based on the bits and pieces we've managed to translate, we're fighting a political entry called the Roar Clan, which is a part of a much larger civilization called the Maelstrak. How do the rest of them view us? We haven't made contact with any other... Wait, sorry. We haven't made contact with other clans of theirs. This is all based on the information we've gained from other sizable... Malastrick population in the Shioko system. That's even better. If they'd want to defend this war clan, they'd already be here. So there's nothing stopping us from taking over everything they have. That appears a little excessive. Our needs are excessive as well. We didn't come here to play. Does the Zeus League Flint have a stance on this? Yeah, we should avoid successive growth. You know what? Let LOD decide. Let's see what she says. We agree with Admiral Reed. Necessity dictates that we should take over what we can. Yes, removing any pockets of opposition from this war clan should take priority. Very well. All right. Well, I guess she likes the more aggressive approach. All right. So three turns. So hopefully we get this up and running soon. There's two more turns on that one. Of course, there's two more turns on that one too because I built them at the same time. It makes sense. Oh, I knew they were going to come at me. I knew it.
Dang it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to win this. I think it might actually be wise to flee. So that we don't lose the strength of our fleets. Although we only have one fleet here. I'm going to go ahead and fight it out. Let's see what we can do here. Centralized defense. We'll go ahead and start combat. All right, so now that it's slowed down, we're winning that battle. We're jumping to that group here. Oh no, that's not gonna work out well for us at all. Yeah, we're gonna lose. As expected. Although, we're not losing as badly as I thought. I wish I could fire some missiles. I know my, these are my like flagships and they're firing into this group here. And they're actually dying faster than we are. I'm a little nervous to, to fast forward it, but I think we could see if this actually works out for us. Will they hit 20% before we do? They might. They might just hit 20% before we do. Looks like they might. Oh my god. Wow. We got lucky there. Oh no, and they're attacking us again. I doubt we're going to be lucky again. Let's try it. I almost want to centralize. You know what? We're going to hold no. Let's see what we got here. Two battle groups. Defensive platforms are far from the core. Combat. Modifiers plus 20% damage. 25% retreat threshold. All means allowed. What does that mean? Focus on defending the planets close to the system's core while defensive platforms are placed on the outer edges to provide fire support or to be used as traps. Let's try that. Let's see how this works. Yeah, this is not going to work out for us. Unfortunately, it's just not going to. We tried. We're about to lose our small frontal group. Yeah, that's retreat. Oh, man. You know, we did a really good job of defending the first time. So, I think we did a little bit more damage than they expected, for sure. There's something we seriously need to discuss. Very well, what is it? We've built a bunch of outposts, which gives us enough... It gives us some infrastructure and production, but it hardly gives us the ability to settle people in meaningful numbers. And to have any facilities of larger scale, we need people to man them. So we need some places where to. We need some place where to settle the. Wait, we need some place where to settle. That's not English. <laughs> We've identified a single much such planet in one of the systems controlled by this war clan of the Maelstrom civilization. It might be a good idea to grab it while they are the only ones hostile to us. Yes, the bow system. Not far from our current borders. Unfortunately, there aren't any sensible alternatives. So if we ever want to set up something proper here, we need that place, and we need it soon. The rural resistance has been resilient at times, but hardly very concentrated. Occupying this bow system shouldn't be too much of a challenge. We are really beating this rock land to the ground, aren't we? If they're letting us do it, then gladly. Well, it's not exactly self-defense anymore, that's for sure. Justifications are the least of our worries right now. We take what we can. Indeed. Also, there's another less urgent matter. I'd like to inform you that my research streams have finally set themselves up and are ready to take on their designated tasks. Which basically means whatever we or you would like to designate them to research. And there are many lucrative options. Okay. So I'll start with the Pegasus Habitation and then we're going to go ahead and increase our damage by 5 and 10%. And then we're going to have the Hermes Radar so that we can see what's going on around us. 
See if we can cue this stuff up. I love it. So we're actually gonna come over here. That's gonna be oh no, we're gonna do we're gonna do this one first. Alright, good to go. And that's a decent little fleet there. I don't like you guys for doing what you did. So upgrade here now because we can't upgrade the other spot. We'll go ahead and see what's buildable. Is this a decent fleet? Yeah, this is going to be able to defend itself decently. So we'll go ahead and build here. And we'll come over here to the system and we will see if there's anything we can do to get some rare earth, which is there. We'll go ahead and build an industrial place there. That's the only thing buildable here. High to gravitational. You know, here we're going to go ahead and take a civilian outpost so that we can get more energy and more happiness. And they're about to upgrade their command, so that's good. So that they'll be a little bit more difficult to take if they continue their counteroffensive. All right, so with that, is it done now? I'm guessing that means they're good now? They're stronger? I don't know. Why don't I know? All right, so let's see if we can build more fleets here. So that being said, we can upgrade this fleet here. So we've got cruisers, quite a bit of cruisers, some frigates, a carrier, and artillery. So we'll go ahead and get the one that's got cruisers and frigates. And also this one too, the carriage and artillery, since it's basically that's all that's that the whole thing is created or made of. So that's going to increase our fleet strength to 89, which is great. This one's 52, so we're going to go ahead and look to increase it as well. So it's made of a cruiser, four cruisers, four carriers, and four artillery. So we're actually going to do the carriers and artillery one. Okay, where's carriers and artillery? And then we'll add some, yeah, increase to our flagships as well. Very good. All right. So what does that make that strength now? 57. And then what about here? 31, 13. We need to repair this fleet for sure. So hopefully they don't come after this because if they do, then without our fleet here, I'm going to be screwed. And only with a garrison fleet. Does this actually, does this have the upgrade coming? It does. So, all right, we'll look to see what the system is here and see what we can do to build. Do we have anything that's good here? Decreasing our totally energy. Nope, we don't want to do anything here. Rare earth, always important. So we'll go ahead and drop that so we can get more rare earth. And then we're going to go ahead and leave that stuff alone for now because we want to keep some of our minerals and our rare earth to repair our fleets. We want bow. Where's bow? Right there. So how strong are we? Not strong enough. So what can we do to increase our strength here? So we can also add that. We can increase the damage and damage reduction of all units by 5% for 200. We're going to go ahead and do that. And what does that give us? That gives us 62 strength to their 74. And what about maybe adding another one here? So 5%, 5% damage reduction to all of them, 98, which means they are definitely gonna be able to win this battle, hopefully, if I do this right. All right, so they're coming in from two spots. I think we actually want to come in from one spot then and take them out here. That's what we're going to try. I'm going to try to nuke these other places. I don't know what the self-destruction is, but it's not good. <laughs> it's never good. All right, looks like we're taking out that defense group, which is great. And the defense stations aren't doing well either. Wish we had more nukes, because I'd like to nuke the crap out of them at this point. 
uncontested. All right, so we're going to probably jump to this group here, it looks like. Yep. Victory imminent. Which group is this? This is this group here? No, it looks like it's this group here. Oof, man, that's going to be close. I wish I had more to fire at them. Because they're firing at me pretty hard from afar. I'm not going to win this. Alright, that sucks. Okay, so... I did really reduce their abilities, though. Um, so I could probably drop in from here with 62 to their 49. Oh, man. You know what? I'm going to do that because I want to take this spot. We're going to go ahead and see if we can take this. And we're going to do the two, the cautious advance. Although that's 50%. Ah, oh, man. See, that's the thing, right? Like... Uh, where's the defense station? It's here. So the three battle front, uh, that would go here. So they would take out the defense stations. But then they're not big enough. So we're going to have to go with this cautious advance. Looks like we're going to win both these, hopefully. But their defense stations are going to make it hard for me to win. We're winning these battles individually, but their defense stations are going to hurt me. Oh, I'm going to hit the 50% before they're going to. All right. Didn't work out for me. Did not work out for me. All right. How much longer do we have to for this repair? Okay. It doesn't tell me. It just says four, eight turns, but it doesn't give me like how many turns are left. Oh, no. Hopefully we can win this with some of our let's do it man this is not good not good I'm about to lose all of it they're down to 2% though. How is that possible? Okay, so they, they did a victory at any cost. And it cost them everything. Which is really lucky for me because I have seven. Seven left. Okay, how much more do we have? To, oh my god, man. I need these fleets to repair themselves. Alright, they reinforced that. So there's no way I can move into this one. This one's 32. Can I build fleets yet? Yes, I can. All right, so let's go ahead and build. Okay, you have artillery damage and reduces damage, flagship damage and interceptor damage, cruiser damage and artillery damage, artillery damage and unit damage. Let's do this one. And we're going to, it was cruiser and artillery, right? Yep, artillery and cruiser. So we're going to go ahead and put some cruisers. One, two, three, four. Do some artilleries. And then we'll drop some Harriers in there with a carrier. There we go. So that one's going to build. And hopefully we can, as soon as this one gets repaired, we're going to reinforce this area here. All right, so completed the station at Zoka. Our people are happier, and we've also completed the habitation protocol, which is great. All right, so that means we're going to move into adding some advanced firing computers, which will add 10% damage to our all of our ships, right? All of them? Increase the damage, yep, all of our ships. 
All right, good to go. So let's go ahead and upgrade this too, in case we need <laughs> we need it. We're gonna need it, of course we are. Things are not going well for me as well as well as I'd hoped, at least. I think I don't quite understand the tactics yet. All right, so with that being said, though, let's take a look to see what we've got here in our system. We've got the buildable. Okay, so this has already been built. So we've got more minerals coming in. We've got a, a positive energy. We've got positive minerals. We've got a, a decent amount of earth, but we need more. Is this going to have... No, that's long-term happiness. Why can't I build here? I want to build here. What about here? Anything? Nope. That's not good. Not here either. Okay. That's fine. We're not going to do anything here. We're just probably going to do another turn. I'm hoping that nothing happens. I'm getting anxious. Because I don't have defenses here. I mean, if they really wanted to, they could counter me right now, and I'd be totally screwed. So sh this this fleet's almost complete. That's great. This one, I don't know how much longer it's going to take. It doesn't say. It just says for 11 turns, but it's been saying that since I started it. It doesn't have, like, a countdown like the other stuff does. This one's gonna take 11 turns too, but I, I wanna be able to move a fleet in there after before I start repairing it, because once you repair it, they can't fight back. And I think that makes you look weaker. So it's like, oh, there we go. All right, so we've repaired this fleet in 85. That's very good. Is that gonna be enough to, no, it's not, good Lord. All right, so we're gonna have to repair this fleet. 246 rare earth though. I don't have two I don't have that kind of rare earth. So what we can do is create transit stations. And then after that there's hub stations that create a higher level of of output. So we'll have to now Hope, hope that you guys will give me some rare earth. And what I'll do is I'll give you some minerals in return. And some science. There we go. Alright, send that. And close. Alright, good to go. So now we've got some rare earth. But we'll need more. We'll need a lot more. And my hope is that now that we've got this there, I need to have this one repaired. I wonder how much longer it's going to be. I think this is going to be completed before. So we have this one now, the 46. And it's cruisers, because she's good with cruisers. And artillery. So we'll do artillery as well. So how strong is it now? It's 54. I'll drop it in here and then repair the fleet. Oh, I can't yet because I don't have enough earth. This one should be cl really close to being complete. We're going to take this fleet and we're going to move it over here. Oh, whoops. Didn't mean to do that. I just wanted to move the one. So which one is which? Okay, I see. It's selecting it underneath. All right, we're going to leave that one there to defend that system. All right, my hope is that... All right, our transit station has been completed. And we've got the research computers now. We're done with them, the uh, advanced firing computers. So what we could be worried about now is getting energy and then minerals, but that's not what we want. We want to more earth is there a way to get more earth somewhere it's not up here so we'll do unlocks the pegasus pattern ship plating equipment increases the health of all units by 15 
And do I see anywhere autonomous robots? No. Is there anywhere to increase the rare earth production? Mineral extraction, but not rare earth. Advanced infrastructure. There we go. Strip mine. Okay, so we're going to have to wait. We'll do this so that we can gain more health for our ships and make them more powerful. And I'll wait till I can actually do this. So we've got a 54 and an 85. And for some reason, this particular system is really difficult to grab. I'm going to try it again. And I'm going to try it again with the intention of really considering my tactic here. All right, so the problem is that if we're too, we go frontal assault, where is that going to go? That's going to go here. We're definitely going to take out this group. We're going to increase our damage, but also increase the damage we take. Staged assault which basically brings all of these come come in here. But what about this one? This group has... Which one's this? This gives us a plus 10% damage modifier or 20% retreat threshold. They're doing hold the line. So they're basically waiting, like they're, they're, they're not retreating whatsoever. What about this? 6% or sorry, six battle groups, all means allowed. What does that mean? Frontal. I feel like we're going to try this. We're going to try, oh man, I'm nervous. So run them down, force the enemy to fight for longer without retreating delays the enemy threshold by 25%. Forcing them to stay longer and gives our ships standard ground. All right, let's drop, let's drop these bombs. So it's like, let's hope that the nuclear weapons and stuff that I'm dropping right now are enough to, because they're hitting me pretty hard. I'm hoping that I've got enough. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. Okay. Yes, there we go. Victory imminent. Looks like we're taking out the defense stations. The defense group here is losing. But they'll win because they have a hold their ground. So they're going to continue to fight even beyond the thresholds. Looks like they're losing, though. And that might be because we actually have flagships still in the battle here. Oh, please. Come on. 8%. They're losing. They're losing. I think it's starting to... The tide's taking it. Yep, there we go. All right. Phew, that was close. All right. That was really close. Now we only have a strength of 27 there, but there's only one way to come in now. So we're going to go ahead and move this fleet here to back this up. Uh, is, that a, is that a line? I think that's a line, actually. But hopefully it's not something that they're going to try to take. All right, we found a great amount of resources in the Gyoka system after dismantling the enemy command station. The research are worth 501 minerals and zero rare earth. Thank you. All right, so what's buildable here? Natural beauty, which means there's long-term happiness there. And then, I think that, yep, that's the only spot. I'm not ready to build anything there because I'm not sure that we're going to keep it, to be honest. <laughs> All right, so. Yeah. Man, I mean, we're not in a great spot. So, like, I really want to repair this fleet. But we're just not getting enough rare earth. So, does this have a transit station yet? No. Will now, though. 
All right, I think that's, oh, man. I'm a bit anxious that they're gonna counterattack. I wonder why my friends over here aren't doing anything. All right, transit station is complete. The boosting will definitely help out. So are we not able to, we're not able to. What does it cost? It doesn't tell me what it costs. All right, let's go over here and start. I just want intelligence. I want to see what they're doing. So we'll give them some science in order to get them to let me do that. All right, so they're moving up to this way. I'd like them to come down, but they're not doing that. Let's do the same thing over here. Intelligent sharing. And then I will give you some science as well. Close. So they've they've also gone the other way. So uh, let's see. So after the Pegasus pattern, maybe we do do factory automation, increases the unit production speed, but it doesn't increase the r repair speed. Unlocks overdrive, control, Hermes radar, nothing. Oh, self-repair protocol. Units in the fleet are repaired by 10% of the maximum if they didn't move this turn. That is something we absolutely need. So we're going to actually beeline for that instead. And this should be complete. But it's not. So <clears throat> we need, I mean, like, a rare earth is definitely our. I mean, it's like it's, it's our definitely our like our, our our weak spot right now. I'm trying to figure out where we can make up that. Increasing our total en energy production, but what about somewhere else? What's this? Is this gonna help us? No, nope, it's gonna help our long-term happiness. What about here? Is this anything that's gonna help us? Science production has increased by 50%. Poof. Maybe we actually do that so that we can get more research going. I think the faster we get some research going, the better, because that way we can start to increase our capabilities here, really. All right, I mean, so this is where we're at right now, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and hit one more turn in hopes that I don't I don't get counterattacked. And if I do, then we'll come back. We'll come back and we'll win. We'll win. All right, so power plant construction at Karun. And the idea would be that now, I mean, this has got to be close, right? Like, it's been close to 11 turns, I feel like. And I don't, I can't repair these guys yet, because what happens, like, if they come back? I am going to upgrade the command station. What does it cost? It costs me, wait, no way. Must have already been. I must have already upgraded because <laughs> there's no way. That's a lot. That's a lot of minerals and stuff. We needed to get here, but I don't think we're gonna be able to get here. And that's that's not gonna work out for us. That doesn't look defended though. All right, so this is kind of where we're at right now. I'm hoping that these guys will start to move into their systems to kind of take pressure off me. It does look like this is only a garrison fleet. I mean, do we want to try to attack the garrison fleet? Nope, we do not. <laughs> Mainly because, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and repair. Oh, we can't yet, shoot. Let's go ahead and try some diplomacy and get some more rare earth. How much am I going to need for this? So we'll give them lots of minerals maybe? Nope, I don't have enough to do that. Science. 
Nope, that's not gonna it's not gonna work. Nothing I can do. Alright, one more turn. And then we're gonna call this an episode. It does look like there's some movement on their end. But hopefully they're taking some pressure off of us, like some attention off of us. I have news. I'm not sure whether it's good or not. Probably not. Yes, we have been contacted by another species and everything about them is rather worrying. How come? It's an invitation to an audience with the Taminan Imperial representative. They broadcast it simultaneously on pretty much every frequency we use. Ha! That itself is a pretty respectable feat. Imperial? We'll see if they really are worth something worthy of that word. They broadcast their message in Maelstrax so that we could understand. The translation may not be entirely accurate. I presume we are going to accept the invitation. Anything but the kind of first contact we had with the war clan let's go to let's go to war if it turns out to be necessary but let's do it when we want to and not when we, and when we're prepared it's an interesting it's interesting that they are already inviting us to a meeting while we hardly even knew of their existence you could call that worrying as well this Taminan empire and the roar have been neighbors for a long time so they surely have heard the new species is wiping the roar off the map i presume i'll be the one to participate since so what is our stance in the meeting do we want to appear strong and indifferent to them or happily Appear friendly and cooperative. Let's do friendly and cooperative so we don't get killed. All right, that's what it's going to be. Let's just not be too meek. We do not want their. We do want their respect. Yeah. Welcome, newcomers. It appears you have already translated the Maelstrom tongue since you have replied to our invitation. Yes, bird person. Yes, we have. It's quite simple, actually. When you've grasped the basics, it is though it's expre er, it is though though its expressive capability is thus quite limited. The Taminan Empire welcomes you to this galaxy, trusting that you are here for friendly and peaceful intentions. Appease. There's nothing to worry about. We don't see conflict with you. To be honest, your recent actions in this sector don't exactly support that. You're probably not aware, but the Roar clans are du jour part of the Taminant Empire. Oh, shit. The Roar were enjoying momentary independence, but that doesn't mean we're re we've renounced our claim to their systems. We're going to explain. We have been acting solely in self-defense. The Roar attacked us multiple times, giving us no other option but to respond. Our military actions have only been the appropriate responses. We naturally recognize your right to defend yourselves, but the Roar have already defeated. You do not need to occupy the whole sector. This occupation is unnecessary. Explain. We couldn't afford to risk it. They had to, ne they had to be neutralized quickly and surely. I see, but what is the reason for your presence in the Pegasus Galaxy? Are you... As you are apparently calling it. This looks more like an invasion force than a recon mission. It wasn't our fault. We were looking for a space to settle, not necessarily a previously occupied one, but the Roar kind of brought this upon themselves. Very well, I sincerely hope that you've gained the room to settle you acquired and refrain yourselves from tipping the fragile balance of this galaxy. Do not forget that you are not here alone. Let us continue our constructive dialogue in the future. Okay, so I guess I can't move forward anymore? I mean, we kind of have to. Seriously, this is... I feel like this has been 11 turns, but we're going to come back to this. So we're now... We've met the Taminan Galaxy, the Taminan Empire. I don't remember what their name was. Who are you? Faction, target faction refuses to start diplomacy. I feel like you guys could use a little bit of like, you know, southerly movement. That'd be great. But we've got what? One, two, three, four, five. We, I don't think we built anything in the system, do we? We didn't. That's my fault. And we could use it for industrial output. And then what else do we have here? We have Toxic, which has increased our rare earth extraction as well. Not enough resources. And then what's down here? Natural Beauty that... Uh, oh, okay. Rare earth extraction, but also happiness. Look at all that rare earth extraction. All right, so we're going to like rare earth extract the crap out of that place. All right, so we're set up. I mean, this game's pretty cool. It's like a a 4X Total War hybrid with some seriously heavy narrative elements. I'm digging it. I'm having fun with it. I mean, I think I said this in the beginning, but I've noticed that my... At least it seems that, that my choices don't really change the way things go. And if that's the case, then that's unfortunate because it isn't, it's a linear experience right now. And if your choices don't really change the way the game plays out or the story plays out, then what's the point? <laughs> what's the point of having any choices? But I might just be wrong about that because I haven't gone far enough into the game yet. So 
I'm digging this though. I'm having a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it too and continue watching as I come back for episode two. Thanks for watching guys. Until then, this is Drop from Explominates. Keep exploring.